Okay, good morning, guys. I've been missing in action, trying to get over this cold. I think the worst is over. Um, and I'm gonna take you on a couple adventures. Um, I'll make them, I think I missed 10. So I'll do 10, 11, 12, 13. I did 12, or I did 11. So I have a couple vlogmases to catch up on, but I've got lots of crafts and baking that I can share with you, so I'll get everything done. Um, and then get caught up with today, which is December the 15th, 2021. And Gabe's sporting his little outfit. I think I have to make some adjustments on the Velcro. Um, I got all kinds of stuff done outside. Yesterday I got my raised beds all pulled together. And it was up and down the hill. That's mud. <laughs> Gabe. Come on. As you can see, it's a gloomy day today. We're not supposed to have rain. It's just, uh, it's almost 11 o'clock. Had some meetings with students, about assignments and grades and getting things caught up before Christmas. And I hope everybody's doing well. It's Pine Island. I did another COVID test just to be sure. And again, it's negative, so <clears throat> I still can't smell anything and I still can't taste anything. So, just a bad head cold. Is it a helicopter? Sometimes the helicopters come down really pretty low and they check the uh, high tension lines, which is kind of fun to watch them do that. So I'm going to get my mail, head back up to the house, and I'm going to be planting some bulbs while the weather is still nice. It's probably in the low 50s today. It's not very cold. Um, so I'll take you along for that. Such excitement here at Meadowsweet Farm Fiber Arts Design Studio. Right, Gabe? We're just filled with action. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to everybody in a little bit. So when I was cleaning out the garden the other day, um, I planted woad. This is the first harvest of the woad. I have to figure out how to how to dye with this. So I'm just gonna let it here to dry. I think what I might do is stick it in the freezer. Okay, I hope this works. Okay, so if you look at the loom, um, the way that I have this set up is, let's see. You can see all these threads are in an order, and when you prepare a warp, each thread is um, in an order from, you know, if you have 300 threads, it's one through 300, and they, you um, build the warp by using a cross, and it's almost like, don't like the domino effect, one falls off of the other. And then in the back of the loom, if you look down here, that's where I'm winding the warp. So I'm winding from the front of the loom to the back of the loom, and all those threads are tied on to a stick, and you just keep winding, winding the threads on in the order that they appear through this reed. And this 
metal bar. I hope you can see this. Um, this metal bar in the beater bar is called a reed. And these threads are spaced um, according to the distance um, between each one of these little slots. So each one of these threads fit into one of these slots. And I believe this is a six dent reed, which means there are six of these slots per inch. Once you thread it through these slots, it goes through these slots in the reed, it then goes through, if you can see, these are harnesses. And this is set up as a two harness loom. So you can see there are, let's see if I can zoom in. If you look at this, this is called a heddle. And there's a little thread or a little eye, just like the eye of a needle. So each one of these threads is placed through one of these eyes. And the way that you thread, or the way that I threaded this two harness loom was this thread goes into harness one, and then the next thread goes into harness two. Then it goes to one, two, one, two, one, two. And what you're creating is plain weave. So you're going over one thread, under another, over one, under another. And you don't have to do that individually. By using these harnesses, each one of these harnesses, harness one, is connected to a pedal. Harness two is connected to another pedal. So when I press down on harness, the harness one pedal, all of the threads kind of move like as if, as, as if you were opening, you know, your mouth was open. <laughs> you have some teeth on the top and some teeth on the bottom. And that's the way this operates. So all the threads that are on harness one are gonna come up to the surface and all the harness uh, threads on harness two are gonna go down and you just throw your shuttle through a space and then you reverse it. You press down on harness pedal or pedal two, which controls harness two and all those threads lift up. So it's creating that over under effect for you. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so this loom is a glamokra and I love the color it's red and this loom was built in Sweden and this is considered to be a counterbalanced loom um, because when you push down on one treadle one harness goes up and the other one goes down and this is a very simple 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 loom what I have ordered, and hopefully it will come the end of December, is I've ordered uh, a draw loom kit for this loom, which means it'll have an extension on the back and it will have additional harnesses that I can create intricate patterns. Right now, with a counterbalance loom, four harnesses, eight harnesses, what you create are design patterns that are basically geometric in nature. So you really can't get circles or uh, intricate designs. But with a draw loom, it's just as it sounds. You are actually drawing pictures on it. And so that's where I'm headed with this. And so this is the Julia, I didn't name her, that's what she's called. I don't think they make the red Julias anymore. I think it's just the honey colored wood, but she's very lightweight. Um, I really like weaving on her. I like 
I just, I, I like an overhead beater. Some beaters are connected to the loom from the floor, but I like the very old fashioned traditional way of weaving. And I have my little bell. This came in a gift that my daughter, Samantha, bought me a couple years ago. So this is Julia. And um, for anyone who's ever thought about weaving, you should give it a try. I think they have a lot of really nice um, small little table looms. They have rigid heddle looms that you can start out with and not spend a lot of money. But it is a very meditative, relaxing art. So there's weaving. Thank you.